This is going to be a review of um, how I labeled a home circuit breaker panel. This home was built around the 1990s, so it's almost 30 years old. But basically I did it via the process of elimination. I turned all of these off and basically I used a Brother PT80 label maker. You could use a pen and a tape if you want. And then um, I had a multimeter. It came with this dual range AC voltage tester. It uses two AAA batteries. But I also used to have a plug that you could plug in. Didn't use any batteries. And it had three light indicators to give what, how the wiring was wired or whether or not it was on or off. So what I'm gonna do is basically, as you can see, we have a Himalayan salt lamp here plugged into the left side outlets outside of the garage. And when you bring it near here, it beeps. And that's just telling you the circuit's live. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off and right here. So what I did was before these were all blank and I turned them all off. And then by process of elimination, I, I would turn one on. And then in this case, I'm just showing you that I turned it off and lights off and now it's not beeping anymore. Now we're going to go back and turn it back on. And so by process of elimination, by going all around the house, I was able to figure out which outlets were which and it created the respective label right there. So you can see right there, different bedrooms, the living room, the AC, the garage door, dining area, the washing machine area. So what I would recommend is also, if you're buying a new home or if you're gonna build a new home, this circuit breaker right here was, it's rated to 100, 125 amps. Yeah, at least like 200, 225. Especially if you're going to install solar, it's gonna need more amperage. If you plan on having one or two EV cars or even more, for example, a Tesla Model 3 or a lot of the Tesla models, the quick charger recommends at least a 60 amp breaker. So if you had two cars, you're already at 120 amps. You're left with only 80 amps to deal with all the other stuff. If you, for example, had a 200 amp circuit breaker. If I basically use this one, two cars would basically shut down everything else. It wouldn't have the capacity to handle it. Also, I would recommend uh, the Leviton smart circuit breaker panel. And a second option would be Schneider Electric, but so far Leviton is the only one that I know that does smart energy monitoring straight from the breaker panel with integrated apps for, to use on your smartphone. Um, there's other ones out there like Sense, but they're, I think, still in their infancy. They're, they just kind of learn and get smarter to figure out what device you're using. So maybe a hybrid between the Leviton and that would be better because the, it seems like the Leviton circuit breaker panel just is dedicated towards the breaker panel outlets, not each specific device plugged into your outlets, whereas the Sense can supposedly do that. So hopefully this helps.